Welcome to second episode in which uh, we'll turn our boring black screen uh, into actually rendering stuff that we want to have. So let's take a look at this graph. So this is the graph more or less as we, as we left it over in the first episode, except removing the background color because we want to do something more interesting. So what we're gonna do is, first of all, we are going to render um, some model. So the 3D model to the to our screen. So how we do it? First of all, we have to by click on the line, we remove it, and we add here default renderer. So default renderer is the renderer that comes in with the libgd access library itself. So we connect it here. So in here we have to pass models, lights, and camera, where lights is not really required, but if you want to have a lighting, that's what we have to do. Um, to do that, we have to we will expose these three by, by uh, properties. So let's call it models for the models. Lights we're going to call lights, and camera we're gonna call camera. Very simple. We'll add them here, and we will connect those properties. Okay. Um, now we're gonna save it, and we'll quick take a look at the actual code that's gonna be using them. So we, I'll show you how to attach these three things to the the pipeline. So in here is the code for it. It's in episode two. Uh, so first of all, we construct the stage. So this is for the UI. I'll move to it in a moment. In a moment. So we, we create models. So first of all, we create the, normally we'll be loading it from file or OBG file or whatever other way, but we are creating the pipeline renderer models. This is the new class that, that was added with this project. And it, it just has a method for adding specific model instance. Very simple. We just add it, and we have a sphere. Then we have environment, which is our lights. So I'll have here a ambient light and a directional light. And we have a camera set up thusly. And once again, we are loading the pipeline renderer. And again, this is the same code, just pointing to the episode two. JSON, and in here we are setting the properties that we are using. So at the moment we don't look at the stage because it's for UI, this is something I'll add in a moment. But at the moment we are setting models, lights, and camera the same way we had we previously set a background color, we just types, names of the properties are here, they have to match, of course, and the types are depending of, so models it has to be the um, of type pipeline renderer models, lights is environment, and camera is a camera. Okay, so let's test this. Yeah, so as we can see, we have a lighted sphere in the center of our screen. This is exactly what we wanted to achieve. Okay, and uh, now let's take a look at modifying our graph to also render UI. So we want to render UI, of course, after we render all the elements, all the 3D objects on the screen. So we'll add it here, rendering UI renderer. And we have to attach, as you can see, a stage to it. So this is using the libgdx 2D stage. Let's call it stage. Create here and attach it. We're gonna save it, and we are going to press R to reload it. As, I can, as you can see, it has is displaying the label here. So let's look at the code quickly. So we are constructing a stage here. So we have a stage, we have a label, so this is example label, set the bounds, set an actor, and then in our setup pipeline, if there is a property stage, because in the first pass we didn't have the stage renderer, so there was not this property was not present at all. 
then we are setting the stage to it and passing it to our pipeline renderer. And well, the result is that we have both the 3D model being rendered with lighting as well as the UI. So whenever we def we modify the UI, so let's quickly modify to show you. Uh, let's say we will also add a text pattern. Test, and we will set bounds for it. Zero twenty two hundred twenty, and we add it, and we are hoping to see a button being rendered just above the example label. Yeah, and it's working. So that's how you create a very basic um, pipeline for rendering both three D elements as well as UI. So this is gonna be a base for quite a lot of stuff that probably you, you would be working with if you wanted to use this. Uh, this pipeline libgdx graph renderer. Um, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to get notified about any new videos and any new developments on this project. Uh, like the video and Thanks for watching. Bye.